On today's episode of Heroescape Unboxing, our heroes MK Plus Ultra and Alex are on a mission to recruit their spookiest units yet. They will have to tame wild orcs, face a zombie horde, and even fight toe to floating toe with a gang of ghoulish ghosts. Will our hero souls be devoured, or will they gain a battalion of the undead to add to their army? Find out now on another action-packed episode of Heroescape Unboxing! Ladies, gentlemen, Heroescapers, Poke Pals, thank you for joining me, episode 3 of Heroescape Unboxing on Friday Night! I just want to thank you for your support. If you've seen every video so far, thank you. Thank you. We love Because I know you're one of the people that we liked it. You. You're one of the people that commented. Thank you. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, mm -hmm. from the bottom of Alex's heart, All the way thank down you. Here. I thank will you. speak for Alex because I know he feels the exact same way. Thank you, guys. You guys been awesome. All the guys on the Facebook, um, on the Facebook <laughs> Hero Scapers group, I just want to say thank you, guys. You guys are uh, outpouring of support. You guys are always super positive. You guys are always, you know... Helping people out. And also the heroscapers.com, like the forums. You guys are awesome too. I've been telling definitely. Alex he's got to get yeah. on it because next yeah. time we play, oh, get this, next week we'll have some battle reports. But next time we play, I'm going to whoop them. And I'm scared. Like, because I've been listening to this, the Casters of Valhalla, their podcast, and like I've been absorbing this information like a sponge. It's making me think of units differently. It's making me think of maps differently. It's making me think of army synergy differently so i just want to shout out to the casters of valhalla oeao you the man keep doing what you're doing um but yeah so now that that's done with let's get into the unboxing so today we have collection six dawn of darkness and i can't wait to get into these all right, guys, and first here out of Collection 6, we've got the Zombie Horde. These guys, it's actually, as, as far as we know, this is the only blister pack that's got um, multiple of the same squad in it. From our knowledge. For, uh, from our knowledge, exactly. Um, yeah, the Zombie Horde. Ooh, he's looking real zombified. Yeah, right there. definitely. And like you said, it's two of the same squad, so yeah. you got one squad there, you got the second squad. They look gnarly the power of the undead to your army. There are two separate squads, but the zombies of Marinda can join forces to overwhelm the opposition. Their horde movement power allows all six to move in one turn, and three zombies can combine attack dice and launch one massive strike. But their greatest threat may be their zombies rise again ability. When a zombie defeats an enemy, a destroyed fellow zombie may rise again. To replace it. All right, and here we've got the zombies of Morindin. They, they they're nice. Like yeah. I like I like their character model, and after reading the card, it's pretty interesting. Like they yeah. can do some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait to use them. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna give you a closer look at all these guys. Oh, here we have the first zombie. Look at him. Wow. Mr. Club Club Man. He looks like a zombified um, Mr. Clean. Wow. All these lacerations on their bodies. Okay, so here we have the second one. Look at this expression on his face. He's screaming. He's like... <laughs> he got a bone. His, leg, his knees are knocking. How can he walk like that? I mean, he's coming to get you. You better watch out. He's gonna turn you into a zombie. Okay, so here's the third one. This guy's the most dynamic out of all three. He's like really about to, really about to get you. <laughs> all right, we're already at pack two. Um, the first one, it was two squads, but it was the same <laughs> squad. So felt the need to only show you one. Um, next, we have the Shades and Orcs. Okay, so we have the Orcs and the Shades. These Orcs are looking pretty heavy. Eh. 
But um, yeah, and then we got the, <laughs> then we got the shades. Add the power of shades and orcs to your army. Shades of Bleakwood. These ghoulish warriors take control of nearby heroes with their insidious soul devour power. Their stealth flying power enables them to travel quickly over uneven terrain. Heavy grits. Their razor sharp axes cut vicious swaths across any battlefield. Heavy grunts inspire orc champions to take extra turns and easily fend off leaving engagement attacks. Alright, so let's get in, Toy. Alright, so we have the Heavy Grunts, followers of Utgar. Um... They're orcs, and they actually have something really cool. Orc champion bonding. And I just can't wait to throw them into a squad. Okay, so here we have the first heavy grunt. Um, with his battle axe. It was really nice. I like his armor. I like his teeth. There you go. Here we have the second heavy grunt. Looking really nice. Again, he got the axe. Nice. This is the third... Heavy Grut. Now here's the character model of the last Heavy Grut. Same kind of thing, same weapon, same armor, same disposition. Here we got the Heavy Gruts. Okay, so now you have before you the Shades of Bleakwood. And so, like, their card is pretty cool. Um, they have, pretty cool. They have stealth flying and a move of seven. Um, it is only a squad of three for 100 points, but still, the Shades of Bleakwood, and they have an other cool attack, um, an other cool attack um, called Soul Devour, which is actually pretty cool. Here's the first Shade of Bleakwood. He's looking very distraught. Trying to find a soul to devour. Wow. Looking kind of whimsical though. He's like, la di da di da. He does look like he's frolicking. He definitely is. Looks like a frolicker. Frolicker. That's a good word. I don't like it. That might have some connotation. Uh, we might have to bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have Alex's favorite character motto of these shades of bleak wood. He's kind of got his hands in his robe, like, kind of conniving, like, I don't know how to sound conniving on command, but he's, if I could, I would do it right now. And this now, guy's like, let me say, hey. The leader of the Shades of Bleakwood, he's just, he's like, he's literally lunging for you. He's like, ooh. And actually, the expression on his face is literally, ooh. Okay, next one. Now the Shades of Bleakwood. And next we've got the Archers and the Kyrie to unbox. These guys are looking pretty cool. These winged folks. I'm going to have to give you guys a closer look at these guys here. Look at that. Well, they do look um, pretty nice. These Archers also are... Um, Feudal Japanese archers, I feel like. Ooh. I was going to say that guy in there. <laughs> you can. These guys are kind of hidden. They are. Add the power of Kairi and Samurai to your army. The Einar Imperium. The highly disciplined Imperium squad adds the power of double attacks to your army. And as Kairi, their flying abilities come in handy for a quick escapes on uneven terrain. Tagawa Samurai Archers. These hot-blooded masters of surprise use their counter-strike power when attacked, turning all extra shields into unblockable hits on their attackers. And let's get to it.
first up, we've got the Tagawa Samurai Archers. They've got Counter Strike. Oh, I'm like, I'm like the bow. <laughs> Move of five, range of six, attack of two, defense of three. Solid, solid little squad here. <clears throat> we are the first Tagawa Samurai Archer. Looking very cool. Nice, now we have the third one, and he's over here grabbing to reload. He's about to shoot somebody right in the eye. There he goes, trying to get that arrow. Trying to get his means right in the eye. Tagawa Samurai Archers. The Einar Imperium here for you. Um, these guys are so cool. Their character models are so sick. I don't. It's just everything, from the combat boots to the MC Hammer pants to the gilded wings. They're like silver wings too. Like, and they're, they're dual kadachis. They're 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 bronzed. They're, they're, chests. Yes, and they look like they've been in the tank. I, I was I was gonna I was saving that and for they last. They all have like. The hair too. They, they do. The they have locks. a big yes. They do. They really do. These Kyrie warriors. <laughs> He's over here flashing the swords, flashing the abs, flashy pants. <laughs> so now we have the second Kyrie warrior, the Anar Imperium. Look at his very um, aggressive stance he has here. Oh, they all have wings. Yeah, look at his wings in the back there. Look at this guy, third character model here. He's pointing at you. Make him point, make him point at the audience there. He's pointing at you, telling you to subscribe to MK Plus Ultra. I'm gonna get you. Now we have the Einar Imperium. Sadly, we've made it to the end of another episode. Last pack, and I I hope it's a doozy. I don't even know, but it is the Heroes of Durgith, and it's a unique Heroes pack. That's why we saved it till last. We don't even know you know what they do. We don't know their special powers. We don't know their life. We don't know their defense. We don't know their anything. Let these heroes give your army the edge. Runa's Helm of Mitten Soul can crush enemies up to three spaces away. Game on Awa's double attacks and counter strikes sap the enemy's life force. Toxic Skin and My Chackle give Kimo Shi a decisive edge. Kiova's Gift of the Empress boosts the defense of her fellow Kairi. Elgrim's Overextend Attack gives him extra turns. If he's destroyed, his spirit still inspires his followers. So. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, as you can see, very close up, we have Eldgrim, the Viking champion, with his overextend attack, overextend attack, and warrior swiftness spirit this guy is really nice only 30 points three life yeah here we have Eldgrim the Viking champion with his nice beard and his his solid shield nice what kind of weapon does he have he's got a little axe oh nice I like that basically basically a dwarf <laughs> basically <laughs> Okay, now we have Empress Kiova, and she's a Kairi, um, she's actually really cool, I can't wait to use her too, I can't wait to use all of these characters, honestly. Um, yeah, Stealth Flying, she has a really cool um, ability, Gift of the Empress Aura, um, Move 5 with Stealth Flying, and a Defense of 4, Attack of 3, I like that. She's pretty. Now for a quick look at the Empress. She has the Excalibur sword above her head. Here we have Empress Kiova. Next up we've got Runa. Pretty, pretty sick model here. These uh, 
Oh, wings are pretty dope. They're like super pointy and edged everywhere. Like, I don't know, it's just super cool. And pretty solid figure, too. It was super, super cool. Fine. Helm of Mitten Soul Aura. Yeah. Cool. All right, now we have a closer look at Runa. The real slender Kyrie warrior over here. Nice. Look at them wings, them pointy wings. Nice. Now we have Runa the Kyrie. And right here we've got Kimoshi. Um, one of the Maro. She's the first she Maro that we've had. She is actually a war witch, which sounds pretty sick. That that's super cool. I've never heard of a war witch before. Um, she got Mind Shackle 19 and Toxic Skin, 6 move, 4 attack, 4 defense. She's pretty cool. She's one of the cool, one of the cool warlords that we've got, or war witches, I guess. But yeah, I guess she wouldn't have, the, she wouldn't have the warlord bonding. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's super cool. Of the, the Morrow heroes, definitely cool. Give her a closer look at this war witch here. Look at this war witch. <laughs> Look at her. She got a staff, and she's Maro. She's like a Maro. She's a Maro sorcerer. She's a Maro magician. Sorceress. She's a Maro sorceress. Like she has a staff. She is looking pretty cool. I like this character model. She's kind of bald. Look at that thorax. She got a thorax. She literally has six legs, and two arms, and some type of like. She's got hair. She does. I don't know. I'm... Now we have Kimoshi. So now we have Kimon Awa. He's looking really nice. He's a samurai. Um, yeah. Like he actually probably has one of my favorite character models of this of this unboxing already. Almost like ever. Uh, I don't know. This guy. He's <laughs> just one of. Like of the like more medium sized character models, he's one of the most detailed and just a sick look. He does remind me of Kato Katsuro. Yeah. Yep. Like just the different colors and yeah. the fact yeah, that he's yeah. a samurai, but yeah. still like oh, that's an awesome character model. Oh gosh. Speaking of let's let's get let's in get closer, closer to this. Look. Let's get in closer to this guy here. He just turned it up a notch by getting closer to the camera, like Oh my god, Kamon Awa. All these it's gonna colors. be a fight to get this guy. All these colors. Oh my. There you go, there's the back of him. Wow. I love this guy already. I haven't even used him. I love this show. Now we have the samurai Kamon Awa. All right, guys, so here we are at the wrap-up portion of the video, sadly. But um, I think it was kind of obvious from the video that our favorite unique hero was Kamen. So we decided we're gonna, yeah. he's going to be our mutual favorite character, <laughs> unique figure. But um, then we also chose a squad. So yeah. Alex's favorite squad. Yeah, the Anor Imperium, uh, no doubt. These guys are so cool. Just yeah. looking at them again, like they're just some of the... Like, and I they had some even... synergies with Kiova, which is yes, crazy. So yes. we can't wait to try them out. Um, and like we said, our mutual favorite character was Cayman. I mean, he might be yours. Like, he's really cool. Like, his character model is sick. But uh, my squad was the Heavy Gruts. I can't wait to use them. Um, specifically with the Grimnak combination, with the Tornak combination. Um, can't wait to get more... Gruts in the future, just so I can build like a grut little army. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun this unboxing. Uh, stay tuned, guys. We have some big things in the works. Um, yeah, like like literally huge things. Friggin season huge. season finale type stuff on the way. Huge. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, my friends, what we do in life. Echoes in eternity. Later, guys.
Thank <laughs> you.